I started playing cello when I was seven, um, but I started playing piano when I was old enough to get up and hammer on the keys. You know, we had a piano at home. It would be really hard to pick out someone who, above all, has had the, the, the hugest impact on my, you know, on my musical life I'm talking about really here. But um, I would say someone that I still think about every day as a kind of musical guide is the late uh, Peter Norris, who was the director of music at the Menuhin School um, in the 80s when I was there. He was just a wonderful, profound, far-thinking musician who's like a kind of musical conscience, really, to me. Recent memory certainly was playing the Schubert Quintet with the Miros. Um, that was just such a special collaboration. We hit it off from the word go. We had jolly rehearsals, which is not a given for the Schubert Quintet, I can tell you. Um, and beautiful sort of concentration and, and simplicity somehow in the concert. I, I, I really enjoyed that collaboration. I just think about the uh, famous British screen actor, Michael Caine. Um, and I wish I could do a Michael Caine impression, but I think he said uh, something like, there's a reason that most advice is free, it's because it's worthless. <laughs> but, um, you know, there are lots of little pieces of advice um, that I can think of, but I think the most important thing that I try and think about every day, every day I wake up is that I have, to en I have to enjoy what I do. I have to enjoy what I do. If you, if you don't, it, it, music, you know, of course it's a profession and a craft and all of that, but it's an art uh, above, above everything else and, and it has to bring enjoyment and enlightenment to people and also to the performers. So yeah, if you're not enjoying it, you should take a few days off. <laughs>